Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Jen and this is Farabee. And today we're gonna to talk to you about how much it costs to be a dog mom. So this is based on some research and of course some personal experience. I've been a dog mom since 2001. And then I just did a little bit of market research to make sure that what I'm telling you is pretty accurate across the board. The very first thing you do whenever you bring your dog home, you need to take them for a wellness exam. Even if you've adopted them from a shelter who says, oh, they're up to date on everything. We just had them checked out. Even if you get them from a breeder who says, oh yeah, everything's in tip top perfect shape. You need to take them within about three days of bringing them home and just have your vet check them out. That first visit for us was about $75. They just do what's called a wellness exam. So they just go over your dog completely, make sure that everything, you know, appears to be going well with them. So that's gonna be the very first vet visit. So I think you need to allocate about $450 a year for your dog to go to the vet. This is going to include things like just the regular exam and of course a dental cleaning if they need that. I've actually put a savings account together for my animals and if I don't spend that amount, then it just goes into the savings. And then that way, if we have a bigger event later on in life, which we did with all, with three of the four, we had bigger events later in life. So that really helped. So if you can do that, that's one way to save some money and just have it for yourself for the future because your dog is going to cost money over the course of his life. Also, of course, dogs get hurt and things happen that we don't expect. You can either get insurance for your dog, which is great. I've always just done, like I said, a health savings account for them. But if you are interested in insurance, definitely do some research on that. I know different ones cover different things. Also, if you're gonna get insurance for your dog, you might wanna check and make sure that your vet is in network or that you don't have limitations on certain things. Since we're on the topic of vets, let's also talk about flea, tick, and heartworm prevention. So these are gonna range between $160 to $260 a year, of course, depending on the size of your dog. Some areas you're gonna need all of these things, some areas you're not gonna need them, Obviously, some of you are gonna have a more holistic approach and do maybe none of these or a combination of these. We do a combination of these. I'll go into that in a different video if you guys are interested in hearing about that. I got my prices off the Chewy, so if you go to your vet and they offer some sort of a discount, you might get a better deal. Your dog has to eat. This is where you really need to do research and make sure you're getting good quality food for your dog. You don't want to get like the bottom of the barrel, cheapest food that there is, because that's gonna cause long-term health problems. Look for something that has probiotics and prebiotics in it. The food we use is Life Abundance. I've been very happy with it. Before that, I had used Wellness and Farmina with my others. And before that, I used a brand called Bison. So there are a lot of good brands out there. You just need to do your research and figure out what is most important to you. Fairy Bee eats about $350 worth of food a year. So obviously if you have a larger dog, you're gonna spend more. If you have a smaller dog, you're gonna spend less, but you really wanna look for quality ingredients that's gonna save your dog's health in the long run. So next are preventatives like vitamins and supplements. So Fairy takes a multivitamin and they are $60 for 120 tablets and she takes one a day, about $240 a year roundabout for her vitamins. And that's just her vitamins. And then she also takes a few other supplements that are between $10 and $20 a month, just depending on what they are. So I'm gonna say $500 a year for supplements. Obviously, if you don't give your dog supplements, then you don't have to worry about this. And also depending on what supplements you choose to give your dog, this could be more or less. Let me know if you'd be interested in a video about supplements and about what I give Farabee. I would love to talk about that. So let me know if you're interested. These are kind of more of the obvious things like collars, leashes, bowls, things like that. These are gonna be kind of a one-time upfront expense for the most part. You need to get good quality bowls and a good quality bowl is gonna run you about $25, could be a little bit more, but you need to get good quality either ceramic bowls or either metal bowls something like that, stainless steel. That way it prevents bacteria from building up. You should probably have to buy these maybe once or twice in your dog's life. This should be something that you really invest in. Different materials harbor bacteria, so you need to make sure that you're investing in a really good quality material for your dog to eat and drink out of. So a good collar is gonna range you from $20 on up, and the same thing with a leash. Depending on the size of your dog, once again, you can plan on spending between $40 and $100 on a set of quality collars and leashes for your dog or a quality collar and leash for your dog. This should last you longer than a year. Obviously, if you have a puppy and it's growing, then you know they're gonna grow and you're gonna have to invest in a collar more than once that first year. So let's talk about grooming. Grooming, of course, can range from a hairless dog all the way up to a big hairy dog that needs actual, you know, groomer visits. 
<laughs> so this is going to be a wide, wide range. So what I'm gonna do is tell you to just check before you get a puppy, check their grooming requirements, talk to their breeder, and then check around your area for pricing. Because I know for therapy, if I were to take her to the groomer around me for a standard poodle just in a Miami clip, which that's their whole body shaved except for their head and their these things, their bracelets. It is $140 and you need to do that at least every six weeks to keep your dogs, you know, looking good. I would definitely recommend doing your own research on this one. Just don't let it slide. Don't think, oh wow, I didn't think about grooming as a cost because you need to think about it. But that's something that's really hard for me to tell you a price on because it ranges depending on where you are in the country. It also ranges depending on, you know, how much grooming your dog needs. The one thing I'll tell you is that is a constant throughout any dog are their nails. So you either need to invest in a way to trim those yourself. You can do like a nail trimmer or a Dremel tool and you need to trim their nails. I know people say once a month, if you're taking them out somewhere to have it done, then I understand that because you know, it's expensive. Well, like maybe $10 a trip, but plus tip, plus the actual act of going, you know, that's kind of a, a little bit of an expense. But if you're doing it at home, if you can do their nails every week, you can get a good Dremel that is actually a pet Dremel for around $35. I'll link the one we have below. This is the one I've had for probably 15 years or so. The only thing you really have to replace on this are the bands because they're like little sandpaper bands and they get, you know, worn out obviously over time. So that's something that you have to replace, but this should be either pretty much once every few year investment of $35 or either take them and get it done, you know, for like $120 a year. Obviously, if you're taking them to the groomer to be groomed anyway, and they do that there, then, you know, maybe you don't have to worry about this. The other thing with grooming is their dental care. So I brush Fairby's teeth every single day. Whenever I brush my teeth in the morning, I brush her teeth. So I have her a regular, just dollar Oral B toothbrush. I might replace it like three times a year. I typically buy about two to three tubes of toothpaste a year. I really like the gel one that I have now from Bodie Dog. So no matter what pet toothpaste you choose, make sure you pick one that actually is for dogs because human toothpaste contains things that can hurt your dog. So you need to use a pet toothpaste. And I really recommend doing this. This is super important. So we're gonna allocate about $50 a year for your doggies toothbrush care at home. Let's talk about treats. Once again, this is the area where you wanna make sure that you're spending time actually looking at ingredients and picking quality things for your dog. I know you can go out and get like vegan strips for like a dollar a pack or however much they cost, but that's not really good to feed your dog that. You need to really look at the ingredients, make sure you're getting them good quality ingredients. Treats, not with a bunch of crap you can't pronounce, not with a bunch of artificial colors. So we're gonna say dog treats are gonna run you about $6 a bag, depending on the size of your dog. You know, you could spend anywhere from $100 a year or more on treats, which I think is reasonable. And then if you wanna give them bones or something like that too, definitely look and make sure you're not giving them rawhide. Make sure you're giving them stuff that can't splinter. You can do research on that. I don't really know enough about that to offer you sound advice on that. I just know rawhide is bad. Fairby used bully sticks whenever she was teething. That's what her breeder recommended. That worked out really well for us. I know people do like antlers and different things like that. So those are gonna be more expensive. Um, typically those are gonna range from maybe $5 a piece on up, depending on how big they are. They can even be like $20 a piece. But it's important to give your dog a chew that is healthy and that's not going to cause them issues internally or splinter or anything you know, bad. So that's the place you need to invest once again. And I don't know, it depends on how much your dog chews or if they even need to chew. Fairby doesn't chew at this point in life. She kind of quit chewing bones as she got older. So, or she's only two, but you know, as she quit teething. So we don't really do that much, but I know there are dogs who do chew a lot and they love that. So you might need to invest in that. So once again, this is another one I'm gonna tell you, do your research and figure this part out on your own. Just don't forget about it because it is important. Therapy does get a dental chew. These are $15 a bag. They're $15 for 15 of them, so they're a dollar a piece. And they are like a, a kind of a softer dental chew thing. And she gets those maybe twice a week, sometimes a little bit more. Toys are another thing that you're gonna need to provide for your dog. So depending on your dog, depending on their 
personality and what they actually like. If they're a really destructive dog who likes toys their whole entire life, this is gonna be a bigger investment for you than you know a dog who doesn't destroy their toys and kinda doesn't play that much. So no matter what, whenever you're getting a dog, make sure you have a wide variety of toys for them to play with and check out and see what they like. And then that way you know what to get them next. When Farabee came home, I think I had a ball. She had this turtle that was a plush turtle and it squeaked and it crinkled and it grunted. So that was her first things. And I think I spent maybe like $20 on that. But, and I think she had one little bitty squeak too. But we didn't spend a lot of money at first because you really need to get to know what they like. So just give them a very few things at first, let them see what they like, see what their play style is. Some dogs love a stuffed animal, but they love to like rip them apart. So you might need to spend more on those tough toys like that. BarkBox makes some like that. You know, those are gonna be more money than your typical just like dollar section squeaky. It really depends on your dog's personality, but that's something else you need to budget for. One more thing you need to think about is car safety. So no matter what, your dog is gonna go in the car with you at some point, whether it's just to the vet or if you go on adventures or if your dog's a service dog, they're gonna be with you a lot. So you need to make sure they have a way to safely ride in your car. So for this, you're gonna need to at least probably invest around $100, could be more, just depending on what type of mechanism you use to transport your dog. So you can get a car safe crate that actually straps into your vehicle. You can get something like a sleepy pod harness, which is what we have and I did a review on. I'll link it for you guys. I'll link it below and I'll do a pop-up up here. They also have this sleepy pod that your little dog can sit in and it's a like a shell situation, but it straps in the car, it's super, super safe. All the sleepy pod stuff are airline approved and they are crash test rated. So that's what I prefer. But no matter what, you're probably gonna spend at least $100 on your dog's car safety. This should be a one-time investment in their life. So this is a place you can really kind of go big on. But car safety is super important. It's not worth getting in a wreck and your dog flying through the windshield or getting hurt some other way. So make sure they're strapped in. That's a place you need to invest. Like I said, it's probably at least $100. But it should be a one-time investment. So don't let that scare you. Sunglasses, I think are super important to protect their eyes. I've had dogs before, if they don't have eye protection from sun at least, then you know they get cataracts really early and it's not fun. So you're gonna wanna invest in sunglasses for your dog. We did a video on that as well. So I'll link our doggy eye protection video up here for you guys and I'll link it below too. But for your dog's eye protection, you're gonna probably invest about $70. That once again, should be a very few and far between thing. So if you get a good quality sunglasses for your dog, the frame part should last their whole life, but then the actual lenses might need to be replaced like maybe every year or so. And those are, I think the lenses are like $15 for a three pack. So, you know, you're only looking at a $5 a year investment after the initial amount. One more thing you need to think about, poop bags. I have found a huge box on Amazon for like $20 I think and it lasts me like six months. So I'll link that below for you guys. So depending on how much your dog poops, you know, we'll say 50 bucks a year on poop bags. So that's what I've calculated that you should be expecting to pay as a dog mom or a dog dad every year for your dog. Obviously this does not include if your dog gets hurt and has to go to the emergency room. This does not include if your dog has health problems where they need medicines, you know, frequently. But this is just a typical dog expense. I hope you guys have found this helpful. Leave a comment. Let me know if you want to see any more videos on this topic. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you felt like it was helpful. We'll put a subscribe button up here and some videos just for you over here and we will see you soon. Bye guys.